Hi guys, it's Kate. Today I'm going to be comparing 3D pens versus 3D printers to help you decide which is best for you. Although, although both can make objects in 3D, uh, there's quite a big difference between a 3D pen and a 3D printer and what you might use it for. So I hope to shed some light today on which one is best for what you're looking for. Um, so let's just start off with kind of an overview of what each of these is. So uh, a 3D pen to start off with. So my example here is the 3 Doodler Flow, which is one of the most popular 3D pens on the market. I've also got the 3 Doodler Start here, which is a popular one for kids and is battery operated. You can see that I've got a few more pens here. I have a whole review on all the different types of pens. Um, but essentially what a 3D pen does, it's kind of like a hot glue gun. This part, the nozzle gets extremely hot. You don't wanna to touch that when it's on. And then you thread your filament, which is either PLA or ABS, a type of plastic that melts through here and then you draw, usually you actually draw in 2D. So you're not actually drawing up and down in 3D, you draw um, a flat surface and then you connect the pieces together. So I'll show you what I mean about that. So this is something that I drew with a um, 3D pen. So I actually drew each of these squares individually and then I connected the squares by putting another layer of filament, just like a hot glue gun, to make the uh, kind of half cube shape here. Okay, so you draw flat or you layer up the plastic to create your 3D shape. These pens do require some artistic ability. They're essentially um, craft pens. Um, you can make some really nice, cool artistic designs. There are people who have great talents for this that you can find on YouTube who have created some amazing things with 3D pens, but it definitely takes uh, your own ability in order to make the designs. Um, and then we'll shift over to 3D printers. So 3D printers, I've got two models here. I've got the X Maker, which is a model that's aimed for kids. It's kind of like a plug and play device. You really don't need um, much ability at all because you work everything through an app. And then I've got the Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro, which is one of my favorite 3D printers that um, a little bit more of a learning curve to start off, but once you get it, it can do so much more and it's super accurate, highly affordable beginner 3D printer. So 3D printers work by taking that same filament, that same plastic, and slowly layer by layer, um, building up your 3D model. So I'll show you a video of how that works right here. You can see that it's layering layer by layer very accurately to create your design or your model. And 3D printers are super accurate. You don't need any artistic ability. You need a little bit of computer sense to get them started and get working with them. But they're highly precise machines that can create whatever you program it to create. And again, it doesn't rely on you having the artistic ability to create the design. So one of the key differences between the two is that a lot of talent and artistic ability is needed for this one, which also means patience and resilience. And um, same thing for the 3D printers in that you need to figure out how to work them and how to use the software. But once you figure that out, um, the machine does all the work for you. So let's talk about a few different comparables. One is obviously price point. So generally, uh, 3D pens are quite affordable. Um, obviously, the prices change on Amazon, and I'll link uh, all the pens that I've shown here on Amazon in the description. But these pens can range anywhere from $30 to $70 or $80, um, depending on promotions that are going on. And so they're fairly affordable. The filament, usually the pens come with some of the filament. You don't need a ton of filament when you're working with a 3D pen, um, but the filament is also quite affordable. A big, huge spool of filament is typically about $20. Uh, 3D printers generally start at a minimum of around $150 for one of the kind of cheapest models, budget models. And I generally wouldn't recommend that price point. I'd recommend more around the $250 mark to make sure you're getting at least something a little bit higher quality. And then they can go up, you know, into the $1,000 mark. But your average 
3D printer that's probably going to be of high quality is around the uh, $300 to $500 mark. So definitely a little bit more of a price point to get in. Again, you also need to supply the filament. And again, these filaments, um, spools generally run about $20 per filament, depending again on promotions and that sort of thing. So there's a higher cost of entry to the 3D printer. Um, but once you get going with the 3D printer, the filament itself is quite affordable. So I think we already touched a little bit on ease of use, but the 3D pen, um, the ease of use comes from your ability to work the pen. Um, all of the pens have similar features. They have a slow and fast button. They have the ability to extrude the filament at different speeds. Um, turn off and on, set them for PLA or ABS. Um, but once you've figured out the on and off and extruding through the filament, it's really just about your artistic abilities. And it does take practice to uh, get good at drawing these designs. For the 3D printer, you're going to need to learn how to use the software with the 3D printers. And if you've just bought a 3D printer, I recommend you go to my YouTube videos on how to use your 3D printer. Because I take you through exactly how you go from the start of having a 3D printer to creating your first project. It's actually way easier than you think because there's tons of free uh, designs on the internet. So you don't need to design your own print for the first one. You can just print something that somebody else has already created. Um, but you do need to be able to download that off the internet, put it into your slicing software on your computer, and then upload it to your printer. For the X Maker here, which I would say is like more the plug and play design, you can actually just use the X Maker app. And with that app, you can uh, scroll through and pick out your design and then press print. So this is definitely the easiest, the lowest um, barrier to entry in terms of knowledge. But then when you want to get into sort of more complex designing yourself, you'd probably be better off with your Elegoo or Creality or Flashforge model. Those are all really reputable 3D printer brands. Um, what can you make with the, um, with the 3D pen versus the 3D printer? So um, there's so many things that you can make with a 3D printer. You can make fun things. So these are some examples of things that I have printed with my 3D printer. This cute little corgi. Um, this one was came off the X Maker here. This is an articulated dragon. Super cool, these articulated kind of fidget-like toys. Uh, you can make a Q-tip gun, which is kind of cool. Uh, my kids love this one. And I like that you use Q-tips so it doesn't hurt. Um, you can create even things like 3D fabrics, which are super cool. This is like a metallic PLA that I used. And again, some people are actually making shirts and um, capes and things with this 3D fabric. And then you can print things that are actually quite useful as well. So here's an example of um, a hanger. And again, these are not things I designed. These are designs that I found on the internet and printed. Um, so a hanger, pretty cool, a travel hanger. Um, that you can actually print yourself and um, hang up and use for travel. Um, my kids love those um, wooden train tracks. You can print those with your PLA filament. This saves you a ton of money because this only uses a little bit of filament. It's probably only $2 worth of filament here. Um, you can print phone cases. Those are really popular. So this is a TPU filament. This is a flexible filament. And so again, this is a phone case that I found um, the design for and printed for my phone. Um, you can even print clothespins. So basically, you know, any small object that could be made out of plastic can be printed with a 3D printer. Uh, chess pieces. Here we go. We've got the Pokemon theme here. So many fun things that you can print with a 3D printer. And again, you don't need to be an artist in order to print these. I found these designs on websites like printables.com and um, then I've just downloaded them to my 3D printer and printed them. I have designed some of my own custom designs. So if you go on my YouTube videos, I'll show you how to make some of your own custom designs. Like I have a a tutorial on how to use Tinkercad to create an ornament. Here is a pencil case that I made and I actually made a bunch of these for one of my kids' birthday parties so that each child got their own personalized um, 
pencil holder here. So you can, of course, create your own custom designs, but it's easy enough to print off things that you find online as well. 3D pens are much more tricky. So um, here's something that I did create with my 3D pen. So um, these are uh, napkin holders. So for Thanksgiving, I thought it would be nice to have these really cool autumn themed uh, napkin holders. And so I created a template. So I um, drew with my 3D pen on this template, this laminated template, peeled those pieces off and then glued them together using the 3D pen as the glue. And so this is what I was able to create. Um, again, I think if I, I don't have the most artistic ability and so I think if I had more artistic ability, I would have more fun with creating some of these designs, but I like to use the templates because um, again, I'm not the best artist and so it's something that requires a little bit more skill in that regard. In terms of materials, so we talked about it already that um, these Printers and pens use um, filament, plastic filament. Typically PLA is the most popular. So the big printers typically use these big spools and the pens typically use the smaller amounts. Um, you can use the big spool for the pen though to get more value, but um, these ones are obviously just a little bit easier to be carrying and transporting. Generally, it's pretty affordable. Like I said, about $20 for one of those spools. Um, speed wise, um, so just as an example, um, something like this would probably take about uh, two to three hours on my 3D printer here. And so um, these do take time because the printer is going layer by layer, whereas um, my napkin holder would probably take about 15 minutes to do with the 3D pen. Um, in terms of size, obviously the 3D pens are super portable. Uh, most of the 3D pens do require a power source, but um, the uh, three doodler start, which is a kid friendly pen. So this part doesn't actually get super hot. You can touch it even when it's on. So it's kid friendly. These are battery operated actually, which is kind of nice if you were bringing them like in a classroom or something like that. Um, so 3D pens, obviously more portable. These ones are going to be hard to lug from one place to the other, but they would fit great in like a classroom, an office, library, obviously. Um, so yeah, I think that's a pretty good summary of the 3D pens versus the 3D printers. Overall, 3D pens are great for artists, hobbyists, kids who want to use their artistic ability to create in a different way with plastic and not just like with markers and crayons, but it's definitely for art and creating things uh, with your hand. And then 3D pens are much more precise. You give a code to the 3D printer and it will do exactly what you tell it to do. And so it's very predictable, but there is that barrier to entry, which is that you have to figure out how to download those designs and slice them. It's easier than you think. You can just follow along on my videos, um, but certainly um, that's a little bit more of a barrier. I think the things that you can make with a 3D printer, like useful things, but also fun things like fidgets, just much easier to make with a 3D printer than it is to make with a 3D pen. Cost-wise, 3D pens definitely are cheaper and they make a great gift for a birthday present or Christmas gift. And so they have that really nice price set value. Overall, I think they both are great items to have if you're interested in 3D design. I, as you can see, have several of both, but, um, each one, whichever one you choose, is really going to depend on your goals. Just shout me out in the comments if you have any specific questions about 3D printing or 3D pens and check out some of my other videos as I go through the pros and cons and um, review all the different printers and pens that I've tried. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.